Hello world, I'm Christophe Langlois, I'm based in London in the UK and I'm an owner of the iPad Air. I'm very pleased with it, um, it's very portable, it's quite powerful, but as part of my job uh, and being a blogger, I need to produce content more. And of course there's limits using the, the screen of the iPad and the onboard screen. So basically, I was a willing and aiming to test a few of the best keyboards out there. So today I'd like to talk about the Zag Keys Folio. It's a Bluetooth keyboard for iPad Air. It's a great piece of kit. Um, it's available in the US for $99. It retails even at $79.99, I believe at Best Buy, so it's, which is a very good price. In the UK it's a bit more complicated to find. I bought one through eBay for $89.99, that is GBP. British pounds, so much more expensive than the US. But $89.99 is the average price for all those high-end um, iPad Air keyboard. So it's a very good piece of kit. Um, we're going to see in a moment, in the next few minutes, I'll show you uh, what I think about it. And I aim to produce one of the very most comprehensive reviews, including typing, uh, on the keyboard, which is usually missing from reviews, and also the sound as well. Okay, and then in the next five to ten minutes, I'll tell you what I think and if I'm about to keep that keyboard or buy one of the other alternatives. So you can see it here; it's all black. I mean, it's a it's a nice design. Actually, it's not made of you know fantastically expensive material, but it's like a full leather here, which is plastic basically. But it's it's not too bad. You can see here how thick it is. So basically it looks like a notebook. So it turns your iPad into a notebook. Um, it's, so it's made of plastic. It's, it's very heavy. Yeah? The base basically is very heavy, the keyboard part. Yeah? Which, I mean, on the one hand feels like sturdy, you know, and it's, it's good, it's expensive and it's uh, robust. Um, on the other hand, that could be a, a major drawback uh, if you like the, how light the iPad Air is. Because here, that will like make it feel like a proper notebook. Yeah, probably even like uh, heavier than the lighter, the lighter, sorry, um, notebooks. But but this is it here, and you can see. So there's two, uh, of course, parts. Here it's the keyboard part, the bottom, and you can see. I'm gonna remove that. Uh, not to mess with the mess up with the lights on the camera, and you can see here that's the keyboard, and here that's the um, place where you hold the iPad, and you've got of course all the the holes here you would uh, expect. Okay, see, um, you've got everything you need here, and you see the keyboard. I uh, switch it on because here you've got basically a switch on and off, and you've got something to pair the keyboard right. So this is it. If I open it, and you can see here, so this is the keyboard again. It's a great keyboard to some extent that it looks like a proper keyboard from a uh, laptop. So the typing experience is likely to be excellent. And here, it's again the. This is the more flimsy bit, right? This looks a bit flimsy. I mean. Here, I'm not sure about how robust that is. I'm hoping that won't damage the um, the iPad. And in terms of angle, you see this is probably as far as you go, yeah. But because this is so heavy, so heavy, this is heavy, right? It does a good job actually, and and basically the iPad will stay, you know, like it stay put even if you touch the screen. I'll show you in a second, yeah. But that's what it is here, okay? So plastic, but this is sturdy. This is a bit more flimsy, though. Now, let's see, because one of the key things for me, uh, key aspects of any uh, cover uh, or folio um, for iPad Air, is to make sure it, it doesn't basically scratch my iPad Air. It would uh, make me furious, right? You spend a lot of money on that. It's a great piece of kit, uh, the iPad Air, but you don't want it scratch. So let's see how easy is it with the Zag Keys Folio to uh, to put it in, basically. Yeah. So you see, that's plastic. The only thing you have to do, you insert it here, you put it here, okay, and you here. So you're gonna click it, basically just here at the top. Yeah. So that's what you do, and this is it. It's in. I can 
close it, see? So the iPad now is in the case. And it, this is very heavy, I have to say. Um, again, uh, let's see the conclusion. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it. I think it's a great keyboard, as a matter of fact. Sorry, spoiler alert. But, um, but it's very, very heavy. Again, if, if I open it, and again, it's quite hard to open, which is a good thing. It will, it will be very stable and, you know, stay basically closed in your bag, yeah? So it's quite uh, difficult to, in a good way to open, yeah? What you'll notice here is I found the iPad that is not properly actually fitted in the case. See, it's a bit loose here, yeah? Can you see it? It's not 100% in the case, yeah? And you see here, when I said the main thing is to protect the iPad, I'm not too sure, I mean, if here that will be a source basically of scratching or hopefully not with the hinge here. I'm hoping it won't, but uh, I don't know what to say. I still think it's again, it's a very good cover, but I'm just pointing out uh, the weakest area of the design, right? Um, so you see here it doesn't fit properly. But having said that, again, one of the main things for me is to be able to use the iPad um, as a tablet, right? So here, uh, as I said, you can't actually that's the as far as it goes in terms of angles but what you want to do or you might want to do is basically to be able to remove it to use uh, again to read a book for instance and good news this is fairly easy yeah. you just tap here so at the top and and basically this is it so again i'm hoping that there won't be any marks at the bottom of the ipad uh, the ipad is restarting i don't know what it's doing here but anyway so this is as easy, so I'm going to do it again. But again, people say, ah, oh, yes, but there's no tablet mode. I don't think that it's an issue because look, it's in and it's very solid, sturdy, right? Clink. It's going to stick in place and you see, even with the weight, it's doing a good job, actually. Well, if you push it a bit, you'll see that, but that's normal. So, which means you can use it on lap. It's very good. And then if I want a tablet mode, right, anyway, I don't want a case. I want probably like to uh, use it uh, and uh, make the most of how light it is. I'm going to just push it here at the top and this is it, right? Let's do that again. I put it here. You see, three times, boom, that's in. Again, it doesn't fit perfectly well. That's probably why, actually, it's easy to remove, which is good. I click here and I removed it, okay? Put it in, click here. So the thing is, I don't know how long that's going to last and if because of how flimsy the plastic is here, I'm not too sure actually and I'm hoping it won't damage the iPad, but I don't think so, yeah. just looks a bit a bit flimsy, but uh, that, would, that helps as well. And you see here, when I say protection of the iPad, I don't know if you can see, okay, let's watch it here, see, this is made actually to protect the screen, to make sure the screen doesn't touch the keyboard. So I'm pretty confident that does a good job and uh, achieving that, yeah. So this is the iPad in the case. So again, it's very heavy, but at least the iPad is well protected and you can easily remove it. Okay, so now how to use it, how to pair the keyboard. Is it easy? Is it complicated? Let's give it a go, yeah. I'm going to switch on the iPad. I removed the passcode and the password actually just for the purpose of those videos here so you can see I'm gonna switch on Bluetooth first of all um, I'm one of those guys actually I don't mind that the keyboard doesn't switch on automatically I don't mind because uh, I like the idea of using it as a stand if I use it as a stand I don't necessarily want to tap into the juice the battery of the keyboard so I quite like it I think it's a big plus plus in order to save the battery uh, life on my iPad, I tend anyway to switch off the Bluetooth when I don't need it. So now I'm going to put it on. And you see here I've already paired it with a couple of keyboards for my reviews. So what you do here, you go to the right side here, uh, switch it on, and you see the lights here. It's because that beautiful keyboard is got backlit keys, which is amazing. So it's there and it's connected. I've already done it in the past, so that's why. But you turn it on and then you click on that button to pair it, you confirm here and this is it, it's paired so next time you use it, that's fine, it works. So here for instance, I can use it, so I've got a, a dedicated row here of um, featured um, features and iPad specific functions. 
So here's the home screen, or twice I go and access all the, the windows. Here I can lock it, unlock it, because there's no passcode. Um, I don't have to enter anything, this is Siri, but I, uh, I disabled it on my iPad, so you can't see much. This is the uh, back and forth functions, actually, if you're in, a, for instance, word processing um, um, app. If I click here, so I go there, basically this is... Um, my Evernote, great tool here. Uh, you can see you've got the keyboard, so if you want the virtual keyboard or not, yeah. And here it's copy and paste, so uh, copy and paste. And then here, those are for the music, right? It's a great song here. You can stop, you can go back and forth, or you can go to the next song or to previous song. Uh, of course, here, the volumes, so you can totally switch off and you can basically or increase and reduce the um, volume so it's very good it's working very well here no problem with the key it's great to have that dedicated row here so um, it's really it's per really perfect yeah you see the keyboard it looks like a regular keyboard you even have like cap locks uh, caps lock here so it's very similar to a, a proper keyboard on a laptop if I click here that's a feature I really like it's the battery indicator so you know how long uh, you still have, or at least not how long, but you know if the battery is almost full or not. This is green, so which means it's uh, almost full. It's a UK keyboard, so you see that's a pound uh, sign here, which is great. Um, and again, it, look, it looks very good actually because it's so it's heavy. Uh, has a good feel, good good feel, sorry, um, for it, and it's very stable here. Okay, so just before uh, trying the keyboard and. Um, Okay, so just before trying the, the keyboard and showing you how um, what an experience um, you get uh, typing experience with that keyboard, I wanted to show you a great feature which is not available in uh, in any of the uh, direct competitors from Belkin and Logitech is the backlit keyboard. This is a great feature. That's probably why it's slightly heavier as well than the competitors, in all fairness. But it's worth it, I would say. Uh, you click once, at three levels of intensity. Okay, and this is the most intense. You can't see it very well here, but it works very well. This is very cool as well. It's very Apple-esque, right? And not only that, but you've got a choice of basically seven colors. If you uh, use that, you maintain, you click here and hold the light button and the right arrow. I like the red, but if you fancy, for instance, purple, purplish, it's your choice, but it's working very well, right? And again, to save the battery, I can totally deactivate it if I don't need it, yeah. That's a very, very cool feature, and it's working. I've used it uh, just before the film started. I went to see The Hobbit uh, 2, okay, the desolation of smog. Uh, a few days ago, and that proved very handy during the commercials, um, the very long commercials, shall I say. Now let's try it. So I'm gonna start typing, right? Uh, bear in mind that I've got the camera between me, the keyboard, and the iPad, so it makes it slightly more challenging. But um, okay, I'm gonna try it. So it, first of all, it's a review of the Zag keys uh, folio for iPad Air yeah and then uh, this is an extract of one of of one sorry of the very best movies you can hear it's it's quite complicated with the camera the best movies of all times the Show Shank Redemption. And this is the very end bit, right? So uh, basically, Red just got released from jail and uh, it starts with uh, a voiceover, yeah? So, um, and this goes like that. Red talking, right? <laughs> so it's me here. Uh, it's not the keyboard, which is the problem. So you say, I hope. Basically, I hope I can make it across the border. I'm 
I'm reading, I wish uh, I could remember it, but uh, I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. It's me again, it's not the keyboard which doubled it here. Yeah. I hope that the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. That's red. Um, still red here, so basically he's on his way to the deserted uh, beach where he's gonna see Andy. Okay, and he's gonna say something like that, like so happy to see his friend. You look like a man who knows how to get things. This is basically one of the first sentences and uh, lines of Fred uh, to um, Andy at the very beginning of their uh, friendship. And basically Red responding, I'm known to locate certain things from time to time. I'm known to locate things. Certain things from time to time. That's, that's the very the very end bit. So you can see here I'm using the keyboard. Um, I've got like access again. It's easy to the shortcuts. Or uh, again, you do a you can do a copy and paste. Turn it now. It's very easy. If I want, of course, to use then the the features of uh, Evernote. Of course, I need to to do it. I can't exactly do it. Uh, directly through the keyboard but anyway it's pretty easy basically here it's a very good experience you see I mean uh, I didn't experience any double duplicated keys or uh, any issue with the space bar uh, I know people uh, mentioned that online in their reviews, but uh, it's just a great keyboard. Actually, it's one of the best experiences uh, uh, I've, I've, you know, keyboard experiences I've, um, I've encountered in the last few weeks when I was trying a few keyboards uh, for iPad Air. This is just great. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the sound actually quality with that uh, cover. You see here, you're going to see here. There's no holes, right? So you might think that we won't hear anything, but it's not as bad as it uh, seems. Let's go um, onto YouTube. And basically, let's listen to that video I've used for uh, all my video reviews today. Basically, they implemented a system whereby the sound comes back at you, yeah. So it's not like blocked here. Let's do this. It's very good, as a matter of fact, yeah. It's even be better than the other ones, actually, which have holes, because the sound comes from the right hand side. It's still right hand side, but it seems like it comes back at you, yeah. So it's really good, yeah. Access here again to all uh, the keys you need. That is, if you want to use it just as a stand, right, and not tap into the juice of the battery, uh, the battery of the keyboard. Excellent sound, yeah. So that concludes my video review of the DAC Keys Folio uh, Bluetooth keyboard for the iPad Air. It's a great piece of kit, I uh, found it very enjoyable uh, working with it, using the keyboard. The backlit feature is great and it's very useful. I used it the other day um, when I was watching or waiting, as I say, waiting for the screening uh, of The Hobbit 2, 
the isolation of smoke. So um, it worked very well, it's very cool. The only thing with that uh, keyboard is its weight. It's very heavy, very, uh, talking about the iPad Air, right? It's still probably on par uh, with a netbook, but it's much, much more heavy than, of course, using just the iPad Air. There's quite a bit of protection, though. Um, it's still my favorite keyboard case um, so far. Again, it's a good mix of innovative features and uh, it's pleasant to uh, type on, which is the main thing. And I believe that won't scratch your iPad, which is my key um, concern with those cases, right? So you might want to buy it or you might want to wait for the other uh, product from um, Zag, which is the Zag Keys Cover, which should be basically pretty much the same, much lighter and without the hinge and the back here. So it's not a full uh, protection. Uh, protective folio but it's just a cover for the screen but it's, it looks like awesome and with the same benefits as this guy here. So I'm hoping you found it useful and it will help you make an informed purchase decision which is the goal of those videos. As a next step please check my other um, keyboards or iPad Air video reviews. If you like them please uh, feel free to like the videos and uh, engage with me ask me your questions. I'm hoping I'll be able to answer most of them, whether directly on YouTube uh, through the Google Plus comment features or also um, via Twitter or directly on my blog, Visible Bank